Let's get you more details on the story. Now four family members and a worker have died in a fire that erupted at their Pretoria West home just after midnight. Only two family members managed to escape the blaze. The cause of the fire is still not known to law enforcement agencies. They are on the scene and they're investigating. That's where we can take you now. Zukona Chona is standing by for us and I believe Zukona that we have a statement from the family. And the family has been here since this morning, very emotional, um, struggled a little bit to decide on whether to, to speak to the media or not because losing five family members has certainly not been easy for them. But earlier on, we spoke to Simon Mutawong, who is the neighbor that managed to save two people from this fire. He says he received a call from a, a neighbor that uh, the, the house was on fire and he used an axe to break an open the window of the main bedroom and the woman inside handed him a baby and the, those two people that he managed to save are, in, are currently in hospital. He's also very tra traumatized, also saying it's not very easy for him to accept that he couldn't save everyone in this fire. But with me now is Gwena Zadra, who is a family member, very traumatized, came here at around 8 o'clock this morning from Mamelodi. Um, I understand the other two family members are in hospital. Have you received any update with regards to their health? They are stable and they are still doing the investigations. The doctors are still doing the investigations, but otherwise they are stable. Mm -hmm. And what are your fears right now as a family? Uh, my fears is like I'm not sure if they are safe. My uncle's wife and the child, they are safe. It's their safety. Yes. Why? Because we are not sure what caused the fire. If there are, peop if there are people who got inside and burned them or what happened. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So. And losing fa five family members is certainly not easy. Uh, what is your plea to the country right now? I understand that you have a plea to the country right now. Anyone who's watching? My plea is uh, if they can assist in whatever way they can, in terms of funeral, uh, food, clothing, because now uh, my aunt doesn't have anything. Everything has spent in the house. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how are you? How's the rest of the family? How are you? How are you? How are you coping? I'm still in shock. I'm very traumatized. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. That's um, Siskwe Nadlaja, who is a family spokesperson, um, speaking on behalf of the family with regards to what happened here, also saying that they still have fears as a family uh, with regards to the cause of the fire, um, not wanting to mention exactly which hospital that they, um, her family members are currently in. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to let you go, Siskwe, so we can just get try and see if we can get closer to the damage. Um, as you can see, uh, the investigators have cordoned it off. We, we can only get as far as um, this uh, yellow ribbon and the house completely gutted, completely burned to the ground. That window over there is the one that Simon Mutawong, a neighbor, um, managed to break down with the, the axe and that's where he was able to save those two family members. But as you can see, the house is completely gutted, everything burned to the, the, to the ground, and the family right now is making a plea to anyone who can help the survivors from this inferno um, with whatever they can because clothes have been torched, furniture has been burned to the ground. But also the family is asking for assistance with regards to the funeral arrangements because they are now having to lay to rest five family members. I'm going to take us closer to this window um, where the lives have managed to be saved. This is the window that the neighbor, Simon Mutawong, was able to break down with an axe and he was handed the baby and thereafter the, the adult managed to come out using this window. A very heroic act, but for him, it's also been a very tra tra traumatizing morning, given the fact that he now has to accept that he wasn't able to save um, all the lives that were involved in this fire. He's left now. We do understand that he is very traumatized. He's been here since around half past one this morning when he did receive that call um, that there was a fire here.
gut wrenching scene there, Zikona Chona. You can always replace the brick and mortar, but not lives. Five family members uh, have died following this tragic, tragic incident. Thank you, Zikona. We'll leave it there with you. At the same time, the Tswane Emergency Services responded to a call at about 1.30 this morning. The public has been advised to remain vigilant, especially as load shedding makes daily uh, occurrence in South Africa. Upon arrival, some of the bystanders uh, informed firefighting crews that uh, there were still five uh, family members who were still trapped inside the house. They then continued inside the house. Uh, and immediately uh, discovered the uh, two bodies who unfortunately had passed on. And uh, as the firefighting uh, continued during the period where they were cooling down the house, they then discovered uh, another three bodies. A total of five family members uh, passed on. In fact, it's uh, four family members and a, a, a worker. So. The female who was rescued uh, by a neighbor, including a three-year-old child, were taken to Pretoria West Hospital and uh, were first treated on scene for smoke inhalation and then taken to Pretoria West Hospital for further observation. It is uh, advisable to switch off all essential uh, appliances inside the house. And uh, if there is a drop of temperature, like we were experiencing light night, uh, if you, they are using heated uh, sources to heat the house, make sure that before you go to bed, you switch off uh, the heating sources, as well as uh, other form of lights like candles. And uh, if uh, maybe a member was using a gas stove for cooking, it is advisable uh, not to put it on top of a, an electrical stove which you presume to be off because it might happen that uh, during the return of power you are not there and uh, uh, that could lead to a fire.